project that I'm working on is a cooperative effort with the Obic Center. What we are trying to do is incorporate microclover into turf grass lawns in an effort to reduce um, fertility requirements in order to hopefully improve the environment. Specifically what we're doing is we're using a new breed of clover. It's very similar to the white clover that's a common weed in home lawns, but this is a smaller, more compact species that's supposed to blend very well with turf grasses. And since clovers fix their own nitrogen, the idea is that if we can successfully incorporate the clover with the turf grass in an aesthetically pleasing manner, we can reduce the nitrogen fertility requirements. To put this more simply, what we're trying to do is come up with a improved version of what home lawns might have looked like back in the 1950s. This was a very common practice um, in the 1950s to incorporate clover into a turf environment so that the clover would provide the nitrogen. But our purpose here is to use these newer improved clover cultivars in an attempt to provide a turf surface that is functional, that's still aesthetically pleasing, but that um, reduces the requirements for added nitrogen fertility. And since there are some controversies associated with the use of nitrogen and phosphorus in turf grass, our goal is to reduce the requirements of those grass species um, from a fertility perspective. But then also there's some other proposed benefits from um, the addition of the clover. We have some evidence to suggest that the clover will improve drought tolerance um, and certain uh, other agronomic characteristics of the overall stand. Contact the Ohio Bioproducts Innovation Center to discuss your sustainable technology. We have worked with dozens of companies and organizations across the United States to advance their efforts in making the world sustainable. Accelerating bioproduct commercialization from cell to cell.